When the Poisson process was first defined, it was defined as a model for events that occur over time or space in a random fashion. The purpose of this slide is to give a few examples of events occurring over time and events occurring over space. And here are a few examples of events occurring over time. You might have particles arriving to a Geiger counter. In this case, an event is a particle arrival. You could also have customers arriving to a bank. In this case, an event is a customer arrival. Likewise, you could have earthquakes arriving to California over time. And in this case, an earthquake arrival is the event. And on the same notion, you could have web hits arriving to a website. You could have phone calls arriving to a call center or insurance claims arriving to an insurance company. In any case, what you are going to have is you are going to have a time axis and you're going to have an origin, which is zero. And every single time an event occurs, which might be particles arriving to a Geiger counter or these could be earthquakes arriving to California. You put a dot out there and sometimes these are also called point processes. A Poisson process is a special case of a point process because events occur at a particular point in time. But this axis does not only have to be just time, it can also be space. So for example, you could have potholes arriving to a highway. Now, this is the length of the highway and these dots are where potholes occur. You could also have defects arriving to a magnetic tape. You could have typographical errors arrive, arriving to a page of text. And finally, you might have painting defects arriving to a car door, although this is a two-dimensional example rather than a one-dimensional example as those first ones are.